this morning. Fox 30 Action News Jax begins with first alert weather. All right, let's give you a live look right now at Panama City Beach, where there has been a confirmed tornado. We're going to Action News Jax this morning, your time 8 o'clock on this first alert weather day. I'm Phil Amato. And I'm Chandler Morgan. And maybe you're waking up with the kids this morning due to those school closures. We are tracking all yeah. of those impacts for you. We're also tracking your weather and your traffic. We have Maritza Ross with us here as well. But let's get you right over to the First Alert Weather Center, where First Alert Meteorologist Garrett Beanbaugh has been busy all morning long. Yeah, a tornado watch uh, hoisted this morning, expanded to the east, really, from Ware County and Lake City. We gave you that first alert moments after it was issued. We'll bring you some drive times coming up in the next 10 minutes. That's the latest from the Safe Touch Security First Alert Traffic Center. Now, the good news at this hour, no power outages right now in our area, but JEA has been busy. Our linemen have been busy planning and trying to plan ahead to keep you safe. Yeah, this is their time to shine, right? Action News Jack's Alexis Clevenger reports from the JEA yard off Emerson Street that crew spent most of yesterday preparing to address the severe weather expected to hit our area today. JEA expects that some people may experience power outages with the severe weather headed our way. And in that case, they say the crew. That's not going to happen today, though. St. John's County Schools will release an hour early today. Both the University of North Florida and Jacksonville University canceled classes today. City of Jacksonville government offices are also closed. Today's city council meeting, by the way, moved to 5 p.m. tomorrow. So, our, so for more closings, a full list is for you on actionnewsjax.com. And due to the weather, St. John's County will not collect yard waste today. Garbage and recycling collection services started at 5 a.m. The county asked residents to secure or bring inside trash and recycling bins as soon as possible. They're expecting widespread power outages all across our area. They ready to respond? Phil Chandler, they are ready to go. They tell me that they have crews staged at both their south side and west side service centers and the trucks are fully stocked and they are event of outages. Please be assured that getting power back on for everyone will be JEA's number one priority. We will work as quickly as safely per, as safety permits to restore power. Damage reports across the panhandle from potential tornadoes this morning. And here back at home, a tornado watch for Ware and Columbia counties this morning. We are tracking it for you on your first alert weather day. I'm Chandler Morgan. And I'm Phil Amato. Thanks so much for joining us. We have team coverage for you this morning, bringing you everything you need to know on this first alert weather day. First alert meteorologist Garrett Biedenbaugh tracking the wind gusts and rain. Maritza Ross tracking the roads for us. But we start with Garrett, that red kind of slowly coming our way. Right? Yeah. A tornado watch. We told you about it moments after it was issued here and expanded to the east for Columbia. So there's the timing winds, lightning, heavy rains, even the potential for a little small hail, though that's a lower end threat and an isolated tornado possible with the potential for some power outages with all of the wind even before. She's now working at the Fort Lauderdale law firm her father started nearly 50 years ago. Your time right now, 649. I'm Chandler Morgan. We are tracking impacts on this First Alert weather day for you. First Alert meteorologist Garrett Biedenbaugh has been talking about the wind associated with this system he's been tracking. And I've been keeping an eye on power outages really across the country for you here. But we can obviously see where the bulk of them in the face. This morning, a North Carolina bookstore is working to send thousands of books removed from Duval County classrooms back to Florida students. 